So how do we coach these life-saving skills into our law enforcement officers? A group known by any police trainer as one of the most difficult and cynical audiences they will ever instruct. And I look at them, I go, why? Why are you so confident in this guy who wants to attack you or when you're having a conversation saying, if somebody comes at me in this situation, I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that. And I start to wonder, well, why are you so confident? You don't train. It always comes back to the disparate ability and levels of supervisors. Whereas one supervisor says, we're, we will train. We will train, that's who we are. You're on my squad, we're gonna train. I've happily met those supervisors. And then I've seen the opposite end of the spectrum where lunch, brunch, breakfast, those are the priorities. And just pencil whip and scribble the certifications and just say we did the training. You have to take your squad, you have to figure out ways to team build, meaning get them together. It's a disservice for each team member on that squad to know that maybe somebody over here can't handle their business. How is this person gonna back me up? How am I gonna back that person up? Perhaps the answer lies within a different strategy, one that utilizes methods seen in the coaching of professional athletes. Why can't that fight training cross over to the police officers? 